Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Please like and comment. That really helps. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please cl click subscribe. Uh, I'm on my way home. It's Tuesday. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening. Um, I apologize for the uh, low quantity of videos that I've been uploading. Uh, part of the reason is I can't really show you guys what's going on in the shop right now. Um, we're real close to being able to do more videos. Um, our spray booth is complete. We did get our fire suppression system installed. And uh, just today they did the pre-inspection. They sent two guys out. Well, they actually had to finalize a couple things too. Um, they did a pre-inspection to make sure that the two micro switches inside the, the pull box actually gets, when they get when this fire suppression system gets set off, they had to verify that the two micro switches do kill the compressor motor and the booth exhaust motor um, so you don't kind of keep getting the fire um, so they verified that we're good to go they're going to get back to management and they're going to set up an appointment with the fire marshal to meet up uh, at my shop and do uh, an inspection so once the inspection's done i'll be signed off clear ready to go with the city and um Basically, I'll just have to get twice a year. I'll get inspected and do kind of like a service. Uh, the city is set to come Friday, Friday morning, from about 10 to 11. I'll be there doing a, a walkthrough and an inspection as well. Um, I'm kind of crossing my fingers that you know they, they don't see something they don't like. Um, I don't think they're inspecting spray boots every day, so they might not have a whole lot to compare from. Uh, I think we did a pretty pretty clean install, so I'm not too worried about it. You never know. They might see something they don't like. Um, that might not even be my fault. Maybe something else in the building. So um, We got our exhaust cabled down, and uh, it's already been kind of, I almost had like a couple little small windstorms. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it was definitely, definitely windy a couple occasions, and our booth exhaust wasn't moving at all, so we are good there. Um, I still got some caulking to do around the roof because I got a little bit of water getting by into the exhaust. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just kind of waiting for a clear, dry day, but that's obviously not today. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's pouring down raining. So, uh, what else? Um, Turbo Civic. Um, I'm excited to give you guys some updates on that. Put a new fuel pump in. I think I showed, showed you guys that in the last video. Uh, as well as we put the remove the turbo manifold. They've got the manifold TIG welded and rebraced. We added a little gusset um, to strengthen the wastegate dump tube. And uh, uh, put it all back together. Took it for a little test drive and it runs awesome. So um, we'll be doing a little more street tuning on that as well. We did fill our nitrous bottle too. So we are going to finish putting in the nitrous system and uh, see if we can do a few pulls while we're tuning uh, with the nitrous as well. Um, the Del Sol, we got the wrong muffler twice. So we are still waiting on a muffler. Should be here this week. And uh, maybe Friday we'll be putting on a, a new exhaust on the Del Sol as well. So. I'm really pumped because I can't wait to start being able to do videos with like paint and body work and stuff and showing you guys how to do like things like uh, repair a dent and, and blend paint and respray something, re-clear coat something, uh, restore headlights um, the real way and uh, do the best nightshade taillights out there. Uh, I plan to have the best taillights. Uh, I'm sure there's some places that do them just as good as, good as me but I will claim my throne on the best nightshaded taillights out there. So um, I already did a video on my old channel and it's pushing over 100,000 views right now. It's one of the top nightshade videos on YouTube. And uh, I'm gonna redo that video um, with a couple changes and try to do it a little faster so I can show you guys how to do that in 10 minutes. Um, that's kind of one of my goals. I wanna show you guys how to do some simple paint body repairs as well as like R&I and R&R and &R, some panels and door handles and certain door panels and stuff like that bumper removal 
So we'll get some videos on that type of stuff too. So I'm super excited to um, continue forward with the paint body and the collision repair side of things at Metro Auto Lab. So um, we got some new body shop signs and banners and stuff for out front. We cleaned up the parking lot a lot. We uh, painted some new stripes, as you can see in the last video. Um, we still got a little painting to do. We're kind of running out of good weather, so um, kind of just gonna get things kind of cleaned up and just keep things clean in the shop. So that way, when I'm filming, you know, you guys don't see a messy shop. And so, anyways, yeah, Friday, I got the city coming through, so I gotta do. I want to make sure it's clean and presentable. So I'm kind of stressed out right now. Um, it's so hard to run a business that you're, you know, you're also kind of learning to grow, as well as running a U-Haul, a U-Haul dealership, and then on top of that, uh, just trying to maintain personal life and personal projects as well. So I guess like right now I'm just overwhelmed. I got, I got the city, you know, jumping down my my back here. So they're coming out Friday. Uh, to do a walkthrough and I just cross my fingers that we are good to go and ready to move forward with business and um, so I'm kind of overwhelmed um, I really shouldn't be I should be really excited and I am excited but I'm also like nervous that you know they might find something they don't like and I'm uh, just I'm getting kind of burnt out on the, the spray booth project guys not gonna lie uh, but I'm hoping to be uh, find some relief soon as it does pass inspection so uh, we can move forward and not have that hovering over our head and just being an endless money pit. Um, I've kept every receipt so far um, from anything I purchased to put this booth in and oh man I don't even, I'm a little scared to add it up. Um, plus not to mention we did almost all of it ourselves except for the virus suppression so fact that it costs that much to install ourselves is crazy you know just to think uh i started this project just over a year ago i started shopping for spray boots just over a year ago and you would have told me a year ago it was going to take me 12 months to find a booth get a booth put up a booth and still not be inspected and done yet i don't know if i would have done it yet uh, i thought it was going to be a real quick process I was shopping for booths last fall. Um, I purchased a booth at the end of January. We got the booth at the end of February. And we had it up, once the permit was approved, we had it up that first week. Honestly, we had the first couple days, we already had the main structure of the spray booth. Uh, you can go back and watch that in some of our other videos. And then it's just ever since then it was I had no idea that the fire suppression system was going to cost that much to install as well as we had to get a separate permit for that and uh, we had to have a licensed company that does fire suppression install that and honestly guys there's no way I would have been able to install that uh, seeing what I saw uh, three three you know trained fire suppression people it took basically two days so. There was a lot to it, a lot more to it than you think. And then on top of that, I had to turn around and do more wiring. And wiring supplies is not cheap um, to get the micro switches to shut off the compressor motor and the booth motor, as well as send power to a strobe light and an alarm signal. You know, in case you're blind or you're deaf, one or the other, um, you can uh, be notified that the fire suppression system's going off. So, also, I got some update videos. I got to film here shortly before the booth gets up fully operational to be able to be used, uh, which it actually is able to be used, but before I actually get it too dirty and use, uh, put too much use on it, I want to kind of catch up the install video. So I kind of stopped for a bit because so I was kind of at a standstill, but I kind of left off and mounted the booth fan. So I need to do a few more videos, two or three more videos on uh, finishing the exhaust in the spray booth and uh, a video on the wiring for the lights in the van as well as a video on the fire suppression system and the wiring for those kill switches 
as I was talking about. Uh, on the inside of the booth, we did put a special coating that protects the inside of the booth um, from 3M. And uh, I want to, uh, so we have already applied that, and uh, I'll kind of catch you guys all up to date on that booth install as well, and kind of talk a little bit about the permits. And, uh, and at the very end, I might do a separate video, or maybe at the very end of the last video, I'll do kind of a an overview of all the receipts and all the permitting and kind of tally up what it took to install a spray booth in 2021 in the city of Ferndale, Washington. Um, it's going to change and vary from state to state and city to city um, and company to company as far as who does your fire suppression um, and, and if and who you purchase your spray booth from. So there are some variables, but um, honestly, uh, I could I could have gone down a little bit in quality on the booth, but um, I would I don't think I'd just want to sacrifice the quality. So um, I'm very happy with my purchase. The spray booth has been amazing. Um, fire suppression and the wiring has been kind of a nightmare, but we are done and our booth is fully operational. We are just awaiting inspection being completed. So. guys can please click that like and subscribe I really appreciate it um, kind of stressed out this week I got a couple jobs that have been just hovering over my head and I got to get done I got to get them out um, and, and, and hopefully we pass this inspection with the city by the end of the day Friday and the fire marshal inspection should be a little probably early next week possible they'll get me in this week but I don't think so I might have even gotten an email already I'll check my email after I um, turn this off but um, so anyways I'm, I'm pretty much thinking as long as everything goes good um, this time next week we could be up and operational as a push repair center so I am absolutely pumped and I, I can't believe I see all the videos from other youtubers that I watch and they're not getting permits or anything to, to do a lot of their stuff, their spraying and their installs, and they're putting in powder coating ovens and wiring things. And I'm just over here thinking it's just a matter of time, so that before they get caught. And I know every state's a little different, but man, I, I mean, I'm glad and grateful that I'm doing things the right way. But uh, sometimes I just go, why me? Why did I have to get fined? Why do I have to have the city attention on me? So. But, you know, I'm happy we're doing things the right way. Uh, I'm hoping to get these last couple jobs done this week and uh, get, this, get these inspections out of the way. And uh, I'm hoping next week to move forward. And we'll pretty much do almost daily videos from there. And uh, hopefully some real thorough how-tos and DIYs for you guys. So please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.